Hello and welcome to Jobik Today. I'm your host, Raymond Maruku. The Mzansi Women's Festival hosted its third edition of films inspired by women and made by women. Mzanzi Women Film Festival hosted its third edition of films made by women and about women. The event included feature films and workshops. This festival was inspired by the 1956 Women's March in Pretoria to fight against apartheid. Mzanzi Women's Film Festival is a platform for women in film. And by that we mean um, producers, directors, DOPs, just um, women who are part and parcel of the film industry, but who are often neglected, not mentioned. I believe it's a really important platform uh, for us as female filmmakers in this country that we get together. I'm disappointed that not enough female filmmakers have made the time out over this long weekend, which is specifically a part of Women's Month, that they haven't come out to share, to discuss and to look at other people's films. We need collaboration. As women, we need to collaborate with each other and support each other. We need to have more women festivals. We don't need to specifically limit anything that is female driven to, and I might sound political about this, but to Women's Month. That for me is problematic because we we try to squeeze everything in Women's Month and the minute it's the 31st, it's a wrap. And we pack, we come back on the 1st the following year and we start afresh and it's the same cycle that doesn't move. It has been very enlightening in that it has allowed us to start discussing what we think can be very detrimental to growth, which is talking. So we are identifying what could be very beneficial, which is we need to start acting. We are the ones that are responsible for the change that we want, and we are the change we want to be, basically. The Mzanze Film Festival is not only about women coming together, talking about their challenges, but also implementing plans on having events where women can come together and support each other. And to all Mbokotos of the world, I would like to say, Happy Women's Day. I'm Pumashiko for Joburg today. Follow us on Twitter, that's at Chobik Today, and like our Facebook page, that's ChobikToday.tv. Love and Kweto is a heart-wrenching story about orphans and their challenges, produced and directed by two young Chobik women. Mama. Vuga. Mama. Mama. Mama Vuga. Mama Vuga. Saul, Steph, welcome to Joburg Today. What a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you so much. We've been hearing so us. much about this amazing mm -hmm. movie that you've produced. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the writer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the story. The story follows two siblings who are growing up in Cliptown from a child-hated family. Their parents have passed away and we just follow their challenges mm -hmm. as well as their triumphs because guardian angels come up and they help them get to, to achieve their dreams and, and you know, live a better life. Uh, and it's just to show that it doesn't matter what your situation will be or is, there's always someone out there willing to help. Mm -hmm. Sounds very inspirational. I'm sure it this is. will resonate with a lot of young South Africans, with all of us, in fact. But what inspired this idea? What inspired the idea, the, the idea a few years ago, probably around 2006, I went to Clip Down um, to do an outreach. There's a place there called Sky, which is a youth center for some of the kids who stay in Cliptown and surrounding areas in Soweto. And I got to meet some of the kids and I got to interact with some of them. And you, 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 you see their situation and you also then see the heart that they have. They, they're very bright kids who are just stuck in a, in a very sad situation but they don't look at the sad situation at all yeah. so i got inspired by that and just realizing that instead of of, of going telling the story from an, the usual hiv aids story i wanted to tackle alcohol um also because my dad was an alcoholic and i could identify with that story more mm -hmm. and that's how the story came about mm -hmm. Sounds wonderful. What mm. is your job as a producer? How do, how do you fit into this? Um, so Steph and I have uh, been friends for many years, in addition to us being business partners. 
So I always joke that my job is always to make sure that whatever crazy idea she has, <laughs> I must put the operations to make it happen. Um, but I think the minute she told me about the story, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I'll give you two days off, write an amazing script and we'll see how we make it happen. Yeah. Um, so my job really is to actualize our visions and our dreams. Um, we, we both are passionate about similar things. And I think for me, this is an important story to tell. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just about getting the team excited, um, rallying around the script and seeing how we could best do it. And very opportune time since it's Women's Month, yes. you are a young yes. woman yeah. making the best of your dreams, etc. Why is this platform so important? I think, you know, film festivals are a great way mm. to get your product out there. Um, but it's also, you know, filmmakers are very precious about their product. Um, so you get nervous <laughs> about showing your product to A, the public, but most importantly to other filmmakers. Yes. We tend to be very critical of each other. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for us, it's a learning opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is our first film. Um, where we are physically the people behind it. Yeah. Um, you know, films are getting made in South Africa. Our films are being internationally recognized. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's also at a time, you know, with the success of our locally produced films in the box office, where people are actually excited about SA films yeah. again, and that's a great a great thing and for I think us. South Africans mm. themselves are very excited about SA Films. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Keep you. up the stellar work and we look forward to watching that movie soon. Yay. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Danny Glover and you're watching Joburg Today. For more news on the city, do check out our playlist. And that's all from me, Ray. Have a lovely Women's Day.